Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil and I know you're <laughs> you guys are actually sick and tired of banners being shoved in our face and here's another one. We have a new banner in terms of a new event. This is not really an event, it's an uh, all new content preview. So in this preview, they're just saying that there will be two new outfits on sale, which is no surprise. And uh, we have a new banner, which I'm sure you guys are actually not really wanting to hear because there are a lot of banners already. But this one, I'll try to explain why I'm doing a review for this one. Not all have live. And um, now that Shiro is out, some might be wanting to build an encroaching cold team if they don't have live. Okay, but this one is going to be up on the 27th so Liv is going to be out on the 27th and let's take a look at how she is I've gotten her since soft launch so let's go to my account this is actually my account in soft launch and um, my initial um, you know thoughts on Liv she she's not really a healer if you actually depend on her for healing She's not going to give you all of those heals. She's a, a, she Although she adds a little bit of heals in her kit, but she's not really a pure healer. So let's go over her kit, guys, and see how she is built. Of course, basic attack. She is powered by AP for her passive here, which is Freezing Pulse. This one is a buff and a debuff in her passive. So one stack of Freezing Pulse. Freezing Pulse is... Attack speed is increased by 10, max 3 stacks when dealing uh, skill or ultimate damage inflicting encroaching cold. Okay, so take note. So in, she needs to deal encroaching cold with the same stack of freezing pulse on the target hit. Then Liv loses one stack of freezing pulse. Encroaching cold is attack speed is increased, uh, is reduced by 5%. This lasts for 12 seconds max tax is going to be up to 10 so 50 percent at most uh for the stacks and uh, this compounds if you have other you know other heroes that have uh, uh encroaching cold so her kit is basically based on a uh, control uh, she's not really going to give you much healing as I will prove to you later. So this one, her passive has buffs and debuff. Attack speed increase and attack speed decrease rolled into one skill. Next up is, uh, let's take a look at her, at her active skill. So we have one, Siren's Melody. This one uh, unleashes freezing energy to erode enemies. So dealing damage, AP damage. Within a circular area and healing all allies by 3, 1, 6, 2, 4, 5, 7. Which is not that much. So, again, I would tell you guys if you're expecting that she's going to be a healer, she's not going to be a healer. When you're using Mesmerizing Tide, Liv uses her freezing power to paralyze an, an ally temporarily. And grant them cold stupor. When this effect ends or refreshes, heals the ally by this amount of lives AP plus 50% of the allies missing HP. This one is individual heals, but again, it's not that much. Cold Stupor is 50% of damage taken is converted to damage over 7 seconds. So that is it's it's a buff, a healing in one in one skill, but um this is for me, this is going to be, you know, who do you pick for this one? Cold Stupor. Probably um, melee characters that are in the front. So, that is actually, th this is a kind of a tricky skill to use. So, I'm not sure if um, you're going to be picking this, but I'll, I'd rather have this. This is simpler to use. Um, damage plus healing although it's not that much but this for me works and her ultimate is going to be live summons ice spring this is going to deal 
M damage or magic damage too. AP to all enemies. Ice Spring. Records all Hydro. Damage inflicted on enemies in 5 seconds. When ultimate ends, dealing true damage deal, dealing true damage equal to 7.5% recorded Hydro damage. So, this skill definitely will benefit more if you have a Hydro team or an approaching cold team. So, that is, I think, why they are putting her out and her banner already this, you know, after Shero. So... Um, again, she, she is just a she's going she's, she's going to be a complementary to your existing team. So buffs and debuffs, attack speed buff, attack speed debuff, some healing, some damage, and additional damage. So that is live in a nutshell. Um, I have her. At, I'm, I'm using her in my second team actually. So not really a bad unit, but she's going to be overall utility. Um, apart from from her ultimate, which deals decent damage, this one I'm not sure. So again, you'll have to decide whether you want an encroaching cold team. You'll definitely need her eventually. So let's take a look at her Awaken here. And let's see how this is built. So bonus healing, energy refund. This one is... So removes burning just in case if you... Encounter enemies with uh, burn effects. When an ally called Super st uh, State casts a skill... Subsequent damage over time record stupor is removed. 50% incoming damage will take effect in 7 seconds. This is effect for last, last 7 seconds. Okay, so this is just um, an add on to cold stupor and the rest. Freezing pulse, stop consume, heal, heals the lowest ally for 110 of lives AP. This is going to be nice. Additional um, healing ability for her. This one, basic attack has a 50% chance of inflicting a stack of crouching cold on target. This is also nice because she's going to be dealing this uh, during her basic attack. Uh, attack speed reduction. She's more of a control character at this point. So it really depends on who you're going to be putting around her. So I would suggest you have a separate healer beside her. She will be your your additional healer if i may say okay so this is it so freezing pulse gain two stacks of freezer can offer only once every 20 seconds okay so what do i think of Liv? um she it, it really depends at this point on who you're gonna be pairing with her she's she can be good as your secondary team if you're going to be building Crouching Cold specifically, she definitely will shine more if you're building her with an Encroaching Cold team. Um, and uh, probably do a, you know, a, a lineup for Encroaching Cold. So what do we have? Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. So in terms of element, we have Hydro. So this is what we have. We have Basil, definitely Liv. If you want to bring in um, Sheru, you can. The other one probably, um, I'm thinking, would be Black or Isa. So if you Isa is going to be um, manipulating, uh, I think Isa is the one that can manipulate. Yeah. Pulling them to the center. So this is Isa. So you'll have to have a bit of synergy with your team. At this point, I can't say. But definitely, you're going to be using Basil, Lev, Sheru. The last um, the last spot would be you know up to you, depending on how we're going to be building. I, I'm, I'm, I'll try to build an encroaching cold team as soon as Sheru comes out. If I pull her... 
that is the question so anyway guys i'll just leave you to it um at this point live is not really a must pull for me um i think uh she is she is going to be good eventually if encroaching cold team is going to have more um of a control if you have more units that can do board control then encroaching cold will definitely be good so live at this point i don't think she's a must pull neither is shiro uh they're good to have um we still need need to figure out how to build your encroaching cold team specifically um for pve and also for pvp so that is it guys thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here